Sherlock here is this Lord and me, the Sherlock Talk Think All Past, Present, and Potential, Future, Future, and Past. The entire team is assembled. Bonjour, bonjour. Alright, so this is interesting, and I kid you not, I initially thought, because obviously, you know, in the first week of April, anything you hear, you think, oh, it's not from any society, you think, oh, it's an April Fool's joke. <laughs> Yeah, so I thought, right, I, I, so I thought, right, I'll check the timestamp just to make sure when the article's published, um, just to make sure it's not a, uh, <laughs> an April Fool's joke, because it's, because it, cause it can, because April Fool's jokes these days online are so convincing, they really are, they really, they really are, they can be so convincing, um, But no, I, I had a look at the timestamp to see when the article got, got, got published, and it was published on April the 3rd, so yesterday. Okay, so we're going to obviously talk about it uh, now today. So it's not an April Fool's joke, but it is a rumour. Okay, okay. Yeah, it, it is a rumour, but it relates to something that we have brought up before. So I thought, let's dive into it. Um. Because we made it no secret how we feel about how... The Walt Disney Studios Park, it kind of needs to get renamed. Yeah, we, we even did a um an episode on that where I think we tried to suggest potential different suggestions. It was tricky. It was, it was tricky. Um, yeah, go watch that back. It was, it's quite interesting, that one. Um, yeah, because let's face it, the fee for Walt Disney Studios Park. Can you honestly tell me what that is now? In fact, let's ask two Parisians this question. Could you tell me what the fee was to walk to Studios Park today? What? The fee was today in 2024? Yeah, no. No, no. Well, if you asked that question 20 years ago, God, the answer would be yes, we could tell what the, what the fee is. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a Hollywood backlot set. You're going behind the scenes of a back. Of a, back, of a Hollywood Studios. That was the idea. Mm-hmm. But today, no, we're just, we're just dumb because you are. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Because I all, always loved the, 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 the idea of the movie theme um, of what to do as well. It was the first step in it in 2005. Yeah. So, um, I've loved that theming. Because uh, it's a brilliant idea, you know, because it was, obviously you got obviously to go behind the scenes of a, of, a, of a Hollywood studio, you'd learn about, you know, the different types of uh, areas of, of the film industry, like, yeah, like how, God, bro, let's see if you can do it, like how, uh, as action took you to, um, show you the, the, the making of stunts, Armageddon showed you how physical effects work, Steam Magic and Armageddon showed you how a completing for real would work, yeah, where you put it all together, completely done there, yeah. Yeah, she so has transport you behind various different backlot and sets and all various different effects. Yeah, that's a lot. Of yeah, yeah. Yeah, so educational, but not completely full on educational. Yeah. Yeah, you got, you got. Yeah, they got the balance of theme of theme park attraction and educational, just about right. Um, and I love that 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 feeling. Sadly, it has obviously you know been made redundant in the last sort of 10 to 12 years. Did we do we feel like since the 20th it's slowly fizzled away? Nah, I'd, I'd probably say maybe the te- maybe 10 years. I think not long after Rastly, that's been the first signs of, okay, watch out because all of this might not look very familiar maybe 10 or 15 years past. Well, it doesn't well, it doesn't. We have reached the ten year mark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So the last card played ten years. Um. Ten to twelve years. That that theme has kind of been made redundant slowly, bit by bit by bit. Um. It's gone away. And in fact, the only thing left of that original theme, can you believe it, is flying cars of Agrabah. Wow. That's that's incredible. That's the only thing left of the original park. And the original theme in. And you want that gone. Because of where it is. It's situated in Worlds of Pixar. There, it's, 
thought. Therefore, it should be turned into an inside out ride. Come on, come, not like on the outskirts, like our, like our, like our estimation, and our eat, my, 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 my eat feeds roll, got tons there. No, they're on the outskirts, they're fine, but Black Arts Agatha, it's in the parameters of the world of Pixar, therefore, take that, turn it into inside out, and most of the world wins. Happy days, done, and I might go on it. Despite my fear of heights. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, because obviously a lot of the attractions in in, in, in Rocky Park is gone. There's only one opening day day attraction left. Mm. One. And yes, you can argue the show buildings for some of them are still there, like obviously art animation. That's now about a major celebration. Yeah. And Magic Theater. That's now making addition. Studio Theater, which caused how to do Magic, now hosts whatever they have, whatever they feel like playing on. That, Oh, yeah, because it keeps changing. How many shows have I had now since the machine left in 2017? I don't know, I've lost track. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. But they really don't know what to do with that, that theatre. Well, because they can't put a permanent show in. They just keep changing it without it. Like, for goodness sake. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's not get started on background because that's a baby goal. So. We have always felt that the park needs to change the name, and it looks like now there is now rumblings that maybe we are gonna get our wish. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Um. Mm hmm. Um. Because what's interesting about with, with what's Gia's park, obviously, it's kind of the black sheep of the whole resort. So you need to list all the different parks and all the six resorts. You probably would find Sears Park would be ranked quite low, or probably dead last. A lot of those rankings. Yeah. Um. Because obviously it has been labelled the worst Disney theme park in the world. Uh, it boasted only three attractions on opening day in back in 2002. And of course, it's now home to 14 attractions, which all include Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone. Why are they talking about the day on Twilight Zone. Tower Terror and of course Rattley event are two more took the Remy. Well you got that that quite Yeah, how did that roll the Tom Brilliant why like zone did not? Uh, anyway, anyway, anyways, anyways, yeah. So yeah. So of course um obviously we've now obviously had the first phase of the expansion complete with the Bedroom Campus and of course the second phase should be coming at some point in the near to distant future. Hurry up. <laughs> I, I, so I'm guessing if we don't hear any um, frozen news in, in D23, you're going to have, you're gonna have, have a hernia. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. Bob, give me the news. I will get into frozen land. Okay. I, you know, I mean, I've been waiting how, many, how long now for that? Is it adding to the delays? Six years? Six years. Well, it should have been last year was open, of course, that didn't happen, yet Hong Kong still got theirs. Hmm. Well, clearly workmanship works faster in Hong Kong than it does in Europe. There you go, there you go. Um, but yeah, uh, so, was, all right, so, yeah. Now, much like the whole series in Florida, what this studio is, is less about showing guests of how movies are made, which is what the, what, what the park really was, which worked brilliantly. It's now more about just throwing yourselves into their favourite Disney movies. Right. Yeah, and I think that's what Avengers Campus tried to do when it opened. It was tried to immerse you into the world of Marvel. Problem is, there's too much Marvel now. Would you like to say, say you can say that again. There's too much Marvel now. Put that there. There's too much marble now. You can't really just settle on one and then and just do a theme park based on that particular IP mm -hmm. because the two because they are happy with saying, "Well, why is it not this? Why is it not that?" Yeah, and nah, 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 nah. Uh, well, the marvelous will argue about anything. Yep. Yeah, but it was too generic what we got. It was too generic. It no, it combined the fact that there's only two attractions in there. One is a refoam. What? Well, oh, well, why is a carbon copy from the from DPO? It was just so appealing. Like you don't want to hang around in there. You just want to get out. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, it just that part. That 
that land's not hurting you. Yeah, but I think that was the idea. It was, a, it was trying to immerse you into marble. Yeah, but that was never going to work. I feel like the Mendes campus, you should have just picked one marble IP, trans and then transform into that, and then if people may or may, well, it's their own fault. We can't have everything. Yeah, you can't have every single thing from all the marble, because you'd have to have, have your own theme park for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think Galaxy's Edge has done the, is the best example of throwing guests into an IP, particularly with the rise of resistance. Yeah, that's the best example. That is the best. Um, I know the execution did not go down well, but I think that's the best example of throwing guests into a said IP. Yeah, and ideally, that's what we what we want from Frozen when we finally get it, because Hong Kong's did well. Hong Kong did well, despite the fact there's only got there's only two attractions. Hong Kong did well. Um. And we'll see if that holds up. But yeah, but these days, it's more, for the Shears Park, it's more about throwing guests in to Disney movies rather than showing how the movies work. Now, that might work well with Hollywood Studios in Florida. Here in Europe, that does not work well because of the layout of the park and the fact that you've got attractions that are not designed to throw you into a, dip, in, into a Disney IP. Now, no, because we've got, well, now, because we've got tap. Power of Terror. We've got obviously the theatres. We've got um um real time studio wall. Um so yeah, so not the the problem is Avengers Campus. Toy Story you quit guys one of you guys. Avengers Campus, Toy Story Playland and Radley they the only ones I think really immerse you into their said IP. I'd agree. Yeah, um, give me a second for I think. Um, no, you're right, yeah. Yeah. Because those are specific lands. Bobby, you tried to, I was trying to think if, if cars captured really quite as close to that as well, but because they're literally side by side next to each other, like neighbours, not really. Nah, no, nah. Yeah. No, that, that's a fair observation, three thought. That's about, that is a fair observation. That's a fair observation. Um, yeah, we only really have three areas in the studio's part that actually does what the idea is now. For how the public to throw you in for Disney film. We only have three areas of those. Okay, so let's get down to the river. So. So the studio aspect basically now redundant. Yeah. Um, the question, and with new changes on the, on the horizon, many speculate whether the time has now come to change the name to reflect this new look, which we of course have for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So, as we all know, on April the 12th, there's going to be a very special event mm -hmm. that will be taking place in World of Theatres in Walt Disney Studios um, for a presentation on some of the resort's upcoming additions. Mm -hmm. Now we know that that includes the Eyes of the Wonderland show, which was supposed to be in spring. And lo and behold, we're in spring! <laughs> we're in spring and it's not debuted! It's gonna be summer, isn't it? It's gonna be the summer. It's gonna be summer, isn't it? It's gonna be summer. It's gonna be June. It'll be June. It'll be June. I bet you it'll be June. It'll be June. Right, it's it, because we have the best way of, of you know, announcing when you to expect things. We don't like other sort of resorts say it's going to be on this particular date. Right? We go for, okay, we expect it to be in, say, like, say, summer or spring of da 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 da. Okay. So that way we've got a leeway so that if something was to happen that would cause delay, we're not held to that particular date. Right. But as George said, we are now very well firmly in spring. And yet it's not that good. And there's only one, uh, and that's April, there's only one more month of spring, and then that's it, you're, you're into summer. So is that really where this is going to go? It's going to be summer, actually, not not spring. Mm, complex. It's a complex attraction. I mean, it is, after all, going to be an Alice in Wonderland stunt show. So, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, but you, you, you do alright. It's, it's taken me a bit of a mick now that we are supposed are technically in spring, it's not what it's supposed to be. Yeah, but there's that. And we're also supposed to hear about the studio, 
the closure to Studio One, which is going to be scheduled for the end of this month in April. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So those are the two main things we we know about. Anything else could be a wild guess. But I wouldn't hold your breath for loads and loads and loads and loads of news for that. Yeah. Because obviously we're not that far out from D23. Exactly, exactly. We're not that far from D23. For anything major, like anything you part of, of WDS2, like the possibility of, like, um, like finding out when Frozen Land might come, that probably might be wait, might be held back till D23. The question mark of what's happening to Star Wars, that probably might be held for D23. Yeah. We need a major update in D23. We can't be shafted again now. We cannot be shafted again because the Lion King Avatar rumor came out not long before D23, the last one. Yeah. And no, they didn't address it. We got nothing. We got Disney Squat apart from here's when Disneyland Hotel's going to reopen. And that was about it. Yeah. That was about it. So we cannot afford to get shafted again <laughs> because there is so much we need updated and we could do with it me now. Yeah. Absolutely. Because they keep, because like with George, people want to know when Frozen's opening. Because they want to get there for it opens. Yep, as I mentioned to you guys, I will be there for opening day of Frozen Land. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. So the two things we want to know about, they'll probably be what will probably be the bulk of it. If they want to tell anything else, then um, it'll probably be like, like small things, like maybe when when you could expect to be there for Halloween or for Christmas. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. But what's also being rumoured. Is the possibility of renaming the studio's park? Now, Disney Insider has put a, has put a um has got a suggest has got um suggestions that's been given to them by Inside Ears, but I'm not going to say what it is. Oh, you cheat! I know. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to say it, and then it proves to be correct, and we've leaked it. Yeah. Or it's not right. Or it doesn't happen at all. So I'm going to hold back. So I do know what the rumoured name is. Because I've read it on the article. On Disney Insider. But I'm not going to say what it, what it is. Um, but yeah. But there is a name out there. There is a rumoured name out there. Courtesy of Inside Ears. But I'm not going to say what it is. Alright. What I'd like to ask you two. Which I'm not going to spend the rest of the show it is. Do we want a name change and do we need a name change? Do we need a graph? Right. Well I'm going to answer the question first of do we want a need do we want a name change? Yes. We've been saying that for quite for quite some time now. Especially as now we have seen the first of the multi year expansion that has been unleashed. We both because the studio next has been has been redundant for years now. It was a slow, but it, was, it died a slow, slow death. Rock, it was a slow burner. It really was. Um, yeah. Okay. So we we do feel we want one. The question of do we need one? I think a lot of people watching today will, will be having a go at us, be saying, "Why do you want to change the name of the studio's park? It's been great for twenty odd, odd years." Ma 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 ma. We don't need to change it. No, I mean. What would you change it to? Well, that has been the million dollar question. Hmm, what? Did we... we did try on a previous episode. Yeah, we did try. Okay. But, um, what would we change it to? Plus, it, plus if you are going to, here's, what I, here's my thing about it. If you're going to do a name change, you have to cut, because obviously we're in a European park, you have to come up with a name that will roll the tongue well in both English and French. Oh, yeah. Because it's not. There's no point playing saying we're going to change it to da 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 and then when you translate it to French, actually, oh, it doesn't work. No, it does not, does not, does not work. No, especially you have to have the studios have to say, so and so and so park now proudly presents Mickey the Magician, or so and so and so park proudly presents Frozen Invitation, or so and so and so park proudly presents whatever's on at Studio Royal at the time. Yeah, you get what I mean? Yeah. Is that? Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Did they even still do... I don't even know they didn't still do that anymore. They didn't even see how I but I don't really do that anymore. No, they didn't. 
Was that okay? Alright, alright, I honestly forgot one. What? Sorry, 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 Park Paddy Pence, cheap cheese. This needs to be a dream fact. Oh, cool. Well, clearly, I've not been paying attention to the last time I was there. Yeah, and they can still do that. It's just not as sat. It's just more sat of ah, uh, more than me. Yeah, well, what are you trying? Well, it's like me when you're fancy trying to merge your surroundings. You probably don't pay attention to what's going on on before the show starts. Um, but yeah, I I can tell. Yeah, I actually can see what you thought about how the how we feel it should be, but other people might feel it should not. Um, and that's the interesting point. Um. Yeah, do you want to come back in, or do you want? To... I. That's basically my though my my point. Cause like we we can all say that we want a name chain, but the question of do we need it? Meh. I just. Well, right now, really narrow because what what is actually different right now apart from the Avengers Campus? Yeah. That's the thing I don't think they thought of is when, if you are going to change the name, when do you change it? Do you change it next year? Do you change it in, say, five years' time when when the bulk of the expansion is going to be. I thought you were about to say, all oh, the expansions complete that No! <laughs> no, no, that's, no, that's too optimistic, Mickey. That's too optimistic. <laughs> no. You're looking at more like 2040 at this, uh, this rate. Oh! Oh, God, you're saying it's going to be done by the time I'm in my mid-40s? Yeah. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Blood, bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, but at least you could have been a lot more back in my days. It wasn't all this crap. <laughs> Get the violins out, yeah. <laughs> no, but that's a good point, though. Is when would you would you initiate the name change? Yeah, that's a good point. Because yeah, right now you'd argue, well, why do we really change it now? There's not really anything different apart from the the shop, the um, uninviting Avengers Campus. That's about it. Um, has anyone got a thought and opinion on that? What about you? What would you think? I'll change it now. Do you go now? Yeah. I think it's a good idea to do a name change. I think just do it now and just say now and give us rather wait till the expansion's completed. Why would we just bring it in now? Give it give everybody a chance to get some use to the name of Hope Walter Tongue and then it'd be fine. I'm gonna settle it. Um what do you think? Oh, I, I, I can see reasons for to do it now and, and to wait until, not till the end of expansion, maybe after Frozen. Yeah, but what if Frozen's off? But what if Frozen comes out next, comes next year? Again, that's being a bit too optimistic, Mickey. Bro, you never know. At right, this rate, I don't think it's going to be next year. There's, there's still a lot that's yet to be done. Whenever you see construction updates on each DLP report, Hardly anything that's been been constructed, like it's just still shoddy brickwork. Yeah. Yeah. But what well, well, when do you think it should be? Next year or or, or down the road? Just say that. Please do that. Well, I think for me, runner, I don't see the need to change the name. I would say down the road. So I'd say maybe maybe right. Thirty fifth. Oh, it's twenty seven. Yeah. By that point, the park, the Sears Park, will have been 25 years old. I think if you're going to change the name, don't do it some random year winning, winning in it. I'd say hold out for next anniversary, which would be 2035. Which, not, sorry, not 2030. Remember, 2027. Stop being your heads of 2030s. The <laughs> what you know. I know, stop it. So, 2027. Because that would give, give give them enough time to make all the necessary changes you need to do. Rough. Yeah. Mickey. Now next year or down the road, I review. Ah, two against one. I review. Let's just rip the ban. If we're going to do the name change, let's just rip the banding off now. Get it done. Over and done with. Do it. Yeah. Get do it. 
Yeah, that's that is my my opinion. Here. I think if we're gonna have any change, get it done now, out of the way, in use, and then just we can all just you know focus on the expansion because we're able to sort of focus on what's going on with the expansion. Name change is just it's just frivolous, you know. Not no one's really gonna care about that. If you're gonna do it, do it, and do it now rather than muck about. Say like wait five or six or three, maybe the next three or five years time. Do it now. Okay. Okay. Um. Can I get your? I know you're not gonna tear this to this, but what with the rumored now? What do you make of it? I think it would be it would right. I think it would would be a good net new name. The problem, one of the problems is, is would it roll off the tongue, which you brought up? Yeah, there's that. And also, for people who have never been to Disneyland Paris, would they get the meaning behind the name? Oh, I, is it? Is it related to Paris? It's related to Paris. Wow, it's the net. The rumored name um, pays tribute to something iconic in in your in your home. That all I'm gonna say on it. That all I'm gonna let them ponder. All I'm gonna say. So the name so the rumored net so the rumored new name pays homage to something iconic in your park. Now I now for us that's fine because once we've been there for countless times it's locked out. But for anybody who's been out who's outside of Europe or who's never been to the surprise, they're probably not gonna understand the meaning Behind the, the the name the, the change of the name, and that's why I make it. So I think so. In terms of the real name, I think it's a good suggestion. It's unique to Paris, but the question is, would anybody outside of Europe understand what that means to us? So you're not going. No, not going to say. I'm not saying. I'm not going to say. No, that's all. No, all guess I'm not that. It's a good. It, 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 I think would be a good suggestion. The question is, would it be well received? I know, I know, I know. Yeah. So that's yeah. So that is a rumor. Uh huh. That is a huge rumor. Um, or something that may or may not be in the pipelines. Um, we personally would like a name change. Yeah. Well, I see options either name change or change it back to Studios Park. But it's too late for that. Now. Too late for that now. Yeah. Too late for that now. Not now. What do you guys think? Do you want do you want a name change or are you like ah oh, just keep it the same? Let us know. But for now, or let's say thank you so much for the stage. Please like button, not subscribe, subscribe, and click on the bell. That was asked quite a When comes back, that was all. There's only really virtual park of the bed. You can be the first one. My official YouTube channel. And that's all I say. Merci for that. Bye bye.